Good morning. What can I say? It's Sunday, the sun is shining, the sky is blue, and I've kept it local today because I had a late night. No, I wasn't partying. I was being taxi service, picking Jack up from Puerto del Carmen. So I didn't get into one o'clock this morning, so I'm shattered. So we're going to keep it local. We're going to go play a Blanca. I thought we'd walk this way, all the way past Playa Dorada. We'll have a little nose that way. Have a little look around the harbour area and around there, and then come back on ourselves. Um, have a look at the new uh, La Salle. Um, see what's going on there with the new bars. Maybe head into Marina Rubicon. Just see this beautiful island. Come on, let's go. It's Sunday morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All our mods are on, I think. Good morning to all the moderators. They're going to be doing a great job as always. Really appreciate you guys being on every single Sunday. Make sure to pin any good questions. Guys, if you've got any questions about Lanzarote, about travel in general, about saving money, or you just want a good old rant, if it's good, it'll be pinned. If it's not, well, it won't be. It's as simple as that. So let's tell you where we are, first of all. Uh, we are right by Playa Dorada. Look at it. It's absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. I might even take you as far as down onto the beach today. You know I hate sand, but why don't we? Why don't we have a little walk down right onto the sand and walk along along the coast? Come on, let's go. So I hope you're all well. Um, that's what I call a morning. Yeah, it, it is. Is it warm at night? A little bit chilly at night, but definitely need a hoodie of some kind. Um, do you ever visit Gran Canaria? It's on the list, I think, very soon. I think very, very soon, Gran Canaria. Possibly uh, this month. Um, definitely before summer. Um, look, 38, 38 days and I'm there and counting. So this could be the last live ever because going by my uh, conspiracy and tinfoil hat theories that, you know, I think the earth is flat and all that stuff. Well, apparently this lunar eclipse on the 8th, which is tomorrow, which is going to go over America. Well, it's going to be the end of the world, apparently. From what I've been reading, it all coincides with their... Uh, stories and predictions in the bible if you're religious you need to have a little look into this and let me know because uh, i'm not very religious but they're saying that the uh, this eclipse is like one that's never been done well it was done years ago and many many years ago and it was predicted as the doomsday and it's going through places that was uh, were in the bible and i think it sort of goes right over where uh, where noah's ark set off after them 40 days of uh, rain and stuff so this could be the last one could be the last one guys i hope not let's see tomorrow <laughs> but if you google cern that's c-e-r-n c-e-r-n and total eclipse well there's some really weird stuff going on in america you need to look into this and tell me what you think you can drop me a message thanks rufy i just missed a pin there don't pin don't pin over anybody's questions because i can't see them so if, if there's a pin up there don't re-pin because I've just missed, I think I just missed something there. Uh, do you know Jimmy? Jimmy who? <laughs> I know lots of Jimmys. Lovely little calf there for a, for a coffee. Uh, da, da, da. Lovely little calf there for a coffee. Yeah, it is, yeah. Let's tell you about this little calf. First of all, why is it not open here for a beautiful sunrise? If I owned this beautiful little calf, I would certainly be opening for sunrise and sunset, wouldn't you guys? I'd be open seven o'clock in the morning, probably maybe get some customers just to sit chill have a morning coffee i'd do some kind of special sunrise breakfast and i'd be there where am i i am on at playa dorada beach morning danny there you go joe says she goes there and uh, my brother is in usa now oh <laughs> i hope he's all right tomorrow but yeah it's very interesting the places that it's like going over anyway you need to look into it Google it, CERN, C-E-R-N. Well, don't actually Google it, TikTok search it. If you Google it, it's not going to show up because they're part of the uh, they're part of the plan, aren't they? <laughs> TikTok seem to find all this stuff. Elba or Flamingo? Oh, booked. Right, that, that pin just disappeared. Elba or Flamingo? Um, I would say Elba. I would say Elba for sure. Look at this, we're walking on the beach. Uh, have a three and a six year old well Paige to be honest I mean Elba and Flamingo El they're both good Flamingo is um is he's twoy um 
and he's more sort of central and right by the beach. Elba, for me, I think he's a little bit bigger and better, um, but he's a little bit further out. He's a little bit further out. So there you go. So here we are on the beach, look, of Playa Dorada. Is the water warm in Lanzarote? Yeah, the water is usually warm in Lanzarote. The, the, the pools are not really warm. Um, and I don't know about the sea, I'm not gonna get in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in there, I can tell you that now. Uh, we'll be there on Friday. Fantastic, right, let's have a little look here, look. So look at these views. So this is Playa Dorada, you know I hate sand, so I don't know why I'm doing this for you. That hotel there, look, is the Princess Yiza. That's the five-star Princess Yiza. Absolutely gorgeous hotel. I've done a video on there on my TikTok, um, on my TikTok, on my YouTube channel. Uh, head over to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and subscribe to that. Uh, but that's a beautiful five-star. Me on a beach, I know, Joanne, it's terrible, isn't it? But sometimes you gotta do it. I just, some, I, you know what, I always, I hate the sand. And I don't mind, I don't mind walking on it. I just don't think I could lie on it. But I just looked down today and I thought that looks beautiful, doesn't it? And it's such a nice walk along here. I'm gonna have to do this more often, look at that. All you can hear is the, the waves crashing against the shore. And this is one of the most popular beaches in Playa Blanca, Playa Dorada. I think it's the biggest. How easy to travel between the Canary Islands? Ella, you can get the ferry, look. See the ferry just coming in there? So you can get, to go to Fuerteventura is super easy. Fuerteventura is just there, look. See that island over there? So you can get the ferry over there. It takes 25 minutes, well, 30 minutes. And then you can, um, you can do that. You can fly between the islands. I've done a video on my YouTube channel. Um, again, I'll keep saying that because I've done loads of videos on there of me flying over to Tenerife on the Binta flights. A little bit expensive for tourists, but you might find a deal. And you can fly over. It takes about 45 minutes. I paid 2,888 for my holiday. I'm concerned about the protest. Look on my YouTube channel again, Carl. I've done a full video on it. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Chill, chill, absolute nonsense. No one's protesting. People are protesting about the fact that, well, they've just built another massive, well, we'll see the hotel. They've built a massive hotel over there and they've just signed contracts to build more hotels. But yet the whole island is suffering because um, workers and local people have nowhere to live because all the houses are rented out um, to tourists. And when I say houses, I mean, I don't mean holiday homes, real holiday homes, you know, that are like normal working people wouldn't have, what normal working people wouldn't have. There's that mental man that keeps walking down the beach. Look at him, look at him. That's all he does today, look. <laughs> He's like Mr. Miyagi. Look at him, <laughs> you're crazy. You're live on TikTok. <laughs> he's having a sing song on the beach yeah so when i say yeah uh, when i say housing i don't mean like big sort of like holiday homes and villas uh because they're specifically made for tourists um but i'm talking like your little flats in the back streets of playa blanca and your little flats in sort of uh arecife there's uh, there's none to rent because they're being rented out as airbnbs so that's the problem as i've said before um so it's all nonsense it's all nonsense, but yet they're building more hotels and not building any more houses and yada, yada, yada. But they are putting some rules in place apparently for holiday rentals, so we'll see what happens with that. For the protests and stuff, it's the 20th of April, but it'll be in the town hall. Won't affect anything in, uh, in any of the holiday resorts. And again, I don't wanna bang on about the uh, protests and all that nonsense. I've done a full video on my YouTube channel. Head over there. It's the second to last one that's been posted. And uh, I go out and speak to local people. I've had a couple of knobheads on there, sort of commenting, oh, you know, why don't you speak to real local people that, that, um, who don't depend on tourism? And my answer to that is, I would struggle to find any local person on this island that doesn't in some way benefit from tourism. Um, you know, even if it's their family benefiting from tourism, you know? Even if I went into the sticks, into the villages and spoke to the real locals and the farmers and stuff like that. Well, the farmers, I would say, probably benefit in some way from tourism, don't they? Because they provide local food to hotels and restaurants. You find me one person that, 
works on this island, local or person that's moved here that doesn't benefit in some way from tourism? Uh, and that's the answer to that. You know, the police, well, there'll be less police needed if there was no tourism. Ambulances, doctors, nurses, it's all there. Is there a fun fair in Porto del Carmen? Usually, Vicky, but I'm not sure when it is. I think it's around August time. I think it's around August time. I'm not sure. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, what's been built in the main road between PVC and Matagorda? Are there more holiday homes? Probably. <laughs> this is the problem. They're building more homes, but they're building holiday homes um, to sell to people. Um, and this is the problem. The locals are saying, well, we've got nowhere to live. And if we find somewhere to live, the rents are too expensive. Anyway, have a look at my YouTube channel. I'm going to do more about that. I don't want to dominate the uh, live talking about that because I've covered it already. There's the Papagayo Centre. Look, I think that's got a new sign. Papagayo Commercial Centre. So up there, you've got loads of bars and restaurants. We won't go up there now because it'd be dead. There'd be nobody in there, look, because you can see everything's closed. What's the temperature? It's around 23 today. I would say, I'd say about 23. But this shows you, look, this shows you some of the bars and restaurants that are in that centre. Um, some old ones that are still not in there, so it's a bit out of date, that. Place in the sun, fish and chips. You've got La Casa, uh, I've done a video there. Um, you've got the Indian restaurant in there, uh, Waikiki's, you've got loads in there. And some that are not in there anymore. I'm going over there on my own. Are excursions okay for me? Yep, yeah. they are, Carl. They're perfect. We get loads of solo travellers out here. Get loads of them, loads of them. Um, so yeah, just make sure, obviously, what I find with solo travellers, it's nothing against solo travelling. I've got nothing against solo travellers at all. I think it's, uh, if you want to come on holiday on your own, it's a great and brave thing to do. Um, but a lot of solo travellers tend to book like in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and it does drive me mad a little bit if i'm honest with you because they book like they'll book like in the middle of nowhere and then they'll book an excursion and say well what, what do you mean you can't pick me up it's like well first of all you're in the middle of nowhere so a bus isn't going to drive all the way up to you know sue in the north to bring you down to the south and plus you're on your own you know it, it, they're not going to go all the way up there to pick one person up maybe if you're a family of eight it would be worth their while sending a micro bus up there to pick you up but yeah it's uh, just make sure you're staying well, try and make sure you're staying in a main resort um but i don't know whether it's a solo traveling thing that you know you want to go on holiday on your own you want to be as remote as possible it seems to be that in my opinion uh, from what i've from what i've seen from the bookings that come through from solo travelers they seem to be uh, stopping in real remote areas so i don't know is it sort of a solo traveling, get me away from everybody sort of thing? That'd suit me down to the ground, that. I think I could be a solo traveler. <laughs> is there an indoor ice rink? No, Ryan, there isn't. They sometimes put one on in, at Christmas time in Arecife, but there isn't an indoor ice rink. Someone said they'd absolutely love to go solo traveling. Yeah, the spoon's still there, Jack. I'll show you in a minute. I don't know whether I'd like to go solo. Oh, no, uh, to be honest, I mean, I'd, I'd done a bit of solo travelling, but I was working, wasn't I? I quite like it on my own, but that's my own company. What I find, what I find very interesting, and again, I've got nothing against solo travellers, but I do find it very a, a little bit comical on sort of TikTok and YouTube, is these solo travellers, they go away on their own, but yet they record everything to show people, and it's like, Look at me, I'm traveling on my own, but I have to show you every single aspect of it for sort of likes and shares, do you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't, I, I'm, I, I wanna be on my own, but I also want the validation of uh, being on my own. And I think that is, that's what's sort of getting a little bit annoying with the whole solo traveling situation. And it seems to be that it's, it, it's portrayed as a really cool thing to do now, which it is, I mean, you know, it's a brave thing to do traveling on your own. But is it something that should be celebrated, that people are actually, you know, preferring to go away on their own than, I don't know, 
with family, with their, well, not with their family, but I suppose with their family, because we've all got a family regardless, or whether you're not married and you're single and you haven't got kids, I understand that, but it seems to be the way that it's sort of being glamorized as this is now the new norm, go on holiday on your own. I don't know, I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Um, thanks, Neil. Oh, thanks, Amber. You don't have to send me ice creams, my darling. Honestly, I don't do this for uh, the gifts. I'm not one of these TikTok begs, but thank you very much. I do appreciate it, my angel. Thank you so much. Um, I should be uh, doing that AI thing where they uh, do the little actions for the, uh, for the gifts, but thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, look, there's some crabs down there. See them? Look at them. Someone said, when you're, traveling, when you're traveling solo, you can do what you want. Yeah, you can do. But what I'm saying is, a lot of the people on, online and on TikTok that go, go solo traveling, they actually don't do anything. They just sit in their hotel room and go for dinner and then film it and say, look at me, I'm sitting in my hotel room and go for dinner. <clears throat> so I don't know, look at all these crabs here. Look, there's bloody loads of them. Let's get down there, see if I can not scare them look you see the red crabs I wonder if they're eatable crabs these he's trying not to slip <laughs> I'm gonna cause me look there's loads of crabs down here look all along the rocks look bloody hell I've never seen this many this is to do with the solar this is this lunar this solar eclipse the last time I saw this many red crabs this close was uh, during COVID when there was no when there was no um, tourists. There you go, look, it's something to do with it. It's, it's the eclipse. The eclipse is coming tomorrow. The crabs know something's up, look. They've all come ashore. Look at that, there's loads of them. Yeah, it is a social media uh, craze to travel solo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn between whether I sort of agree with it being such an amazing experience or whether I think, come on, you know, surely we should be promoting being together with your family and spending time with your family. I don't mean having kids. I mean, spending time with your family and going on holiday with your family. Surely that's what a holiday's about. But it seems to be now it's like, oh, yeah, look at me. Look at me. I'm on my own. I'm on my own and I'm proud of it. We all need someone in life, don't we? Whether it be a friend, a family. And it's a lot of young people as well, which, which I find very strange. I mean, is it a fact that people have just given up on friendships as well? Um, or I don't know, I don't know. I really am sort of torn as to whether, whether this solo traveling thing is a good thing or a bad thing. But let me know in the comments, only my opinion. I'm not, I'm not slagging anybody off. I must say though, Solo travellers are like vegans. <laughs> the first thing they'll tell you is they're solo travelling. <laughs> Just like a vegan will tell you that he's a vegan straight away. <laughs> That's the first thing they'll say. <laughs> what are the good things to do in Playa Blanca? Well, come and see Mr Travel. I'm walking down the road and talking nonsense. Come and shop in Fungrube. Uh, no, there's loads of stuff to do in Playa Blanca. Playa Blanca's got the aqua park, aqua lava. That's like... Uh, Really nice water park, more for the, more for the smaller kids uh, than the bigger kids. Um, Playa Blanca has got loads of beaches, Papagayo. It's got this beautiful town area. Um, but all the excursions go from Playa Blanca, so you can go and see the volcanoes easily from here. They can all book, be booked on our website, www.travelon.world. And if you use the code TTK, you'll get yourself a discount. So Nicola's just put that I was on Jane McDonald. Do you know so many people recognise me from being on that Jane McDonald? My, my five minutes of fame. So funny. My friends are pissheads and my family work constantly. I, do you know, it, it, I, 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 I do agree with that. Um, it seems to be the case. I think a lot of people that do this solo travelling as well are the ones that don't want to be like pissed up all the time and drunk all the time. Um, and I think that's it. I think maybe you've, you've hit the nail on the head there. That if you're one of those people that don't want to go out on the lash all the time and, you know, do Falaraki and Ibiza and stuff like that, then, yeah, it's, it's a strange old time. 
back in my day, we just wanted to go away and get absolutely trolleyed, didn't we? That was it, that was the norm. But things have changed. Maybe I'm just getting old. Go in Labranda Suites, Costa Radecki in September. Will there be boat trips and dolphins? Of course there will be. Have a look on our website, www.travelon.world. All the boat trips pick up from Costa Radecki, Lisa. You'll be rocking and rolling. Use the code TTK and you'll get it cheaper than most places. Here's another beach. We've already done one beach, haven't we? Come on, let's go down there. God, it's a beach day today, isn't it? We're on a beach day. So let's have a little walk on this beach. What I like about coming down in the morning, look, is the sand. It's like perfect. Let's have a little walk down here. So this is Playa Blanca Beach. This is the main town beach. And uh, it's very popular with the locals. Is there anywhere to hire a mobility scooter? It's Google um, JJ Scooter. Is it JJ Scooter Hire? Have a look at my YouTube bub lid. I did a video on it. I can't remember the name of them. I think it's JJ or something. If Mrs. Travelon's on, she'll give me the name. It's Kerry's, Kerry's one. Here you go, look at that, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful sights. Gorgeous. Little lad there, look, with his mum. Running in and out of the water. Oh, I'd love to be that young again. The adventure, look. <laughs> the adventure. The adventure of the waves, the, the waves chasing you. Oh dear, I think Dad's in the water. He's braver than me. Coming out next week, so excited, love Lanzarote. Staying at H10 Rubicon Palace. Oh, it's a beautiful place, Rubicon Palace. How far from the Torah Palace to the marina? Uh, you're probably going to be talking about a 35, 40 minute, minute walk um, to get from there. Somebody's already up, look, having a shower. Oh, let's go say hello to Cesar. Let's see how Cesar is getting on with his sand sculpture. Come on. So this guy makes sand sculptures on the beach. Um, it takes him about four days to make them and he's got a little tip chart tip jar at the top and he's in buena dia cesar how are you i'm good we're live we're live on tiktok we're live wow look at this it's coming along isn't it we've got the trees we've got the house wow look at that what's going to be there water yeah now i'm preparing the pool Oh, wow. uh, I'm gonna make all, all this part today. Wow, it's Maybe beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look at all your tools and everything. Wow, look at that, the detail on that. It's unbelievable. When will it be finished? Today, you think? Uh, no, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm gonna make it uh, nice. Yeah? Gonna, yeah? It looks fantastic. Thank Have you. a good day, my man. You too, my friend. These lot will come all and right. see you. Don't you worry. See you soon. Cheers, Enjoy. mate. Bye. Enjoy. And you, see you later. Hello, how are you? You all right? Look at this, we're meeting people on the beach. I hate the bloody beach. Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice you all right? I, I, I should hope so as well. You're on TikTok to 771 people. What are your names? Wayne. Wayne. Rachel. Rachel. Megan. Megan. And Amy. And Amy. Amy. Fantastic. Where, where are you from? Where are you stopping? Doncaster. And where are you stopping? Uh, hotel, HL. Good play Blanca. Any good? Beautiful. Yeah? yeah? You enjoying it? Are you having a nice time? Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? And the weather's good as well. Beautiful. Weather's been great. So what's today then? Playing a day on the beach? Yeah, down the beach. We're Perfect. Snorkeling. Really? Yeah. We've wow. Snorkels and we're have a look round. Fantastic. Well, look, have a good day. Here's a little Mr. Travel on sticker for your case, look. Oh, you can have my you, face on your case now. Have a good day. Enjoy yourself. You and you'll be on YouTube a little bit later on, all right? Bye. See you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Adios, César. See you later, mate. <laughs> Right, come on, let's get off this bloody sand. What's in Playa Blanca to do? We're going next Sunday. I think I just answered that one, Amy, didn't I? Have a look at the website, travelon.world, www.travelon.world. Um, you can book all excursions. They pick up from Playa Blanca. Um, and then to do, well, just have a look on the YouTube. Uh, I've, walked, I've walked the length and breadth of Playa Blanca. You'll see all the bars and restaurants and stuff. The aqua park, you've got everything to do. Loads to do. Big arcade here, look. They've always, they're always putting new stuff in this arcade as well. That one looks super cool, doesn't it? I think it's one of the ones you hit. You have to hit it hard and then you've got the punching ones here. I'll have to give them a go one day when I'm too tired today. <laughs> are there any sunset boat trips? Uh, yes, there are. Again, have a look on the website, www.travelon.world. Give you the sunset boat trips. Do you have any... Oh... Right, I'm, 
I'm, right, I'm getting too many pins here and let me just have a little look here. One second, guys. One second. Um, right. Sorry, guys. Yeah, mods, if you, if you see a pin up there, please don't pin again because I've just missed about five, five different pins up there. I can't see what, what's been pinned. Uh, do you recommend booking Catalanza in advance? I'm coming in May. Yes, definitely book in advance. Uh, with Catalanza, they do an adults only in a family. Um, book it on our website, www.travelon.world. Use the code again. You can get a little... Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello again. again. When did I meet you last I, time? Oh, on YouTube. Did I? No. What? Been watching you. Oh, oh. Your walks up so you, I haven't met you before then. No, you've just no. seen me on. You've no, just seen I me on YouTube. Like I know you. you feel like you know me. What are your names? <laughs> I'm Hayden. Hayden. And, and Hazel. Hazel. And Hazel. Where are you from? We're from oh, options. options. Where? Options Holidays, a supported holiday company. So yeah. Supporting Hayden to have a lovely hol independent holiday. And are you enjoying yourself, I Hayden? Am. No parents for a whole week. No parents for a whole week. So <laughs> so this one's looking after you. <laughs> Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. And what do what what does options do then? Like options, so we're um, we're a holiday company that yeah. support disabled adults yeah. to have holidays all over the world. That is fantastic. What an what an amazing thing for you as well. So yeah. and what do you think of Lanzarote? Uh, well it's hot. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not sure. It's expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> well, it is because you're shopping there you go. Are you buying loads of stuff then? And what yeah. do you, is is Lanzarote good for people with disabilities? Would you um, say? So far. I'm not sure because I haven't really seen any proper wheelchair access or oh, yeah. any disabled toilets or anything. Oh like well, that. there you go. Well, what? I'm going to say not really because there's lots of stairs and there's lots. Lots of stairs. Yeah, everywhere up it. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. There are other slopes, aren't there? Just just we slope. haven't needed just to use them, have we? Oh. We've been okay on the steps. I think I've been okay on the step. Well, I'll tell you what, if you, if you, after your holiday, if you send me a message and you can tell me and give me some feedback and then I can uh, send yeah. it to the relevant people, can't I? Well, listen, here is a little sticker hey, that ooh. you can put on your case. Oh, that's one. And now you can have my face on your case. Oh, that's what I say. Oh, there you go. It, He's the face on a case. There you go. Yeah, Lovely to meet you. Have a See you later. Bye, bye. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> oh, bless. How lovely. Options, holidays, look, bringing people out with disabilities. That's cool, isn't it? I'll tell you what, you meet some interesting people on these walks, don't you? Um, what, were we, what were we talking about before that? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, excellent service, Rufy, excellent service. Um, is it actually expensive there? Um, not really. Well, I think everything's expensive because I'm tight. So it uh, depends what you think expensive. 3 90 for a breakfast there, look. Can't be that expensive, can it? 390, that's not bad for Playa Blanca. A little bit of tapas. I'll show you some of the menus and that. Oh, you've got menus here, look. You're talking sort of, well, let me find the English one, that's in French. <laughs> oh, here we go, look. See, you're talking 950 for half roast chicken, really good prices. Really nice. Iberian pork ribs, 14 euros. So I don't know how that compares to back home. I would say it's probably cheaper. Do you book private fishing boats? And no. Beck, no. If you're an avid fisherman, I would Google um, Esquello Fishing Lanzarote. They do private ones. We sell a touristy sort of uh, fishing boat, but I'm very dubious with selling fishing because a lot of people come out and want to do a fishing boat and expect to be... Uh, you know, dipping the rod in and pulling out 3,000 fish and, and stuff. And sometimes you obviously catch nothing and then people pick, get people moan. Look at all these red crabs, look. I've honestly not seen these red crabs like this for a very, very, very long time. Like I said, in COVID, they were all out all the time like this. But you tell me, something is going on with the lunar eclipse. <laughs> My conspiracy hat is twitching like crazy. Have a look into this lunar eclipse. Apparently, it's all going to kick off. It's going to change the world, apparently. This is what they're saying. But the crabs, well, let's face it, nature knows more than we do, don't we? And these crabs seem to have come right in for a change. And like I said, last time, last time I saw it like that was when it was deadly silent in, um, in COVID times and there was nobody around. 
because they felt more comfortable coming in unless it's just been a while since i've done a walk down in this area which is i don't know uh, we're coming to costa de Giz on thursday fantastic absolutely brilliant is a submarine excursion good for kids for teens um is anything good for teens orla <laughs> But it's not a PlayStation or a Switch, they're not happy, are they? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Um, you go 30 meters under the water, on the ocean, on the bed of the ocean, um, you pass two shipwrecks, you see all the fish swimming, um, you get your headphones with all like the commentary and stuff like that. So I'd say, yeah, 100% for teens, uh, for any age, really. I think you have to be over two or three, I think it might be three, um, but 100%, really good for teens of all ages. I'm gonna take you down here. We're going on a little sort of uh, up and down beach, beach and, uh, and sea adventure today, aren't we? So I love these little walkways, look, that take you down here. And the reason I'm taking you down here is because I can see the Linnaeus Romero ferry heading off and it'd be cool to watch it. So you've got to be careful because it's quite slippy, um, especially when you're holding a camera. But look at this boardwalk. So you can come down on the boardwalk here and you can actually swim right in the ocean fantastic thing to do look the seagulls look over there oh it's beautiful down here today absolutely beautiful i've not seen that many seagulls as well something's going on <laughs> i'm going to be spotting things all day on this live and saying look that's not normal something's going on total eclipse so these are the ferries look that one's the armas so i've done a full video on all the ferries and they're the ferries over to to fuerteventura so if you want to see the island of fuerteventura you can get one of the ferries this one's the one with the cars and this bad boy here is the one that we sell and recommend more than anything and it's the Linnaeus romero fast ferry it's brand spanking new literally brand new and um, it's specifically made for tourists so it's a hundred percent a tourist boat uh, it's beautiful um, no cars so it's foot passengers only it's real sort of touristy so definitely if you want to do a ferry go to our website excursionslanzarote.com if you're stopping in Porto del Carmen and Costa de Guise as well you'll be able to get a bus pickup so they'll come and pick you up on the bus and then they'll bring you down to here to the harbour and then you'll board the ferry and you'll head over to Fuerteventura and then you'll come back on the last ferry about five o'clock and the bus will be waiting to take you back to your hotels there's the armas look it's reversing in and what it does look when it comes in look it causes massive waves that come smashing against the coast and uh, what it'll do is when the boats come in the beach down in uh, Playa Blanca where we walked earlier the kids go mad because it's like their own little wave machine it's really really cool but I'm getting off here because uh, I, might, I might get swept away <laughs> But I do love these little walkways up and down. They are so nice. And you can just you can just come down and sit here. There's one thing that I don't like though, is people flicking fag ends, look. Isn't it disgusting? Aren't humans absolutely disgusting? Look. Look at all the fag ends around here. Disgusting. Vile. Vile. So that's one thing. We have to do a little bit of a clean up, I think. Get down here, pick up all them cigarette butts and stuff. Do you have to pay for parking in PDC? Um, no, you just can't find parking in PDC. It's awful, terrible. Uh, there is one place where you can park and that's at the Soco Shopping Centre. You're best off paying for it um, than wasting time, petrol, driving around trying to find somewhere. So I would always park in the Soco Shopping Centre. Porto del Carmen's a nightmare for parking. The Canaries in general is a nightmare for parking, if I'm honest with you. Temperature at the moment is about 23. Mamma Mia's getting ready, or no, Mama Rosa's getting ready, look. They do a breakfast here, look, from 10 till 1. I bet it ain't a 3.90 breakfast. Looks too posh for me for breakfast, this. Look, this is more cocktails and smoothies, look. But they're getting ready for the day, look. Uh, is anywhere to hire a bike in Fuerteventura or Lanzarote? Everywhere, there's loads of places, Sammy. Um, in Playa Blanca, there's one down in the harbour called Roy's. Um, in Porto del Carmen, there's, there's bi uh, bike rental shops everywhere. Everywhere you look. So there's plenty. Look at this bad boy here. I think, do you know what? If there's such a thing as reincarnation, 
Um, I want to come back as this bad boy. I would love to be a seagull. They just mess, they just, they're just, they're always in cool places, aren't they, by the sea? And they're not afraid to nick people's chips. <laughs> that would be me. I'd terrorise everybody if I was a seagull. I'd literally just fly over them and nick the food out their, out their hand and just attack them constantly. That would be my, that would be my life. Uh, good morning, Ross. Good morning, good morning, everybody. God, we got 906 on. Donna, love Lanzarote, hoping to return in September. Oh, I've got to say happy birthday to Caroline, I think it is. Somebody messaged me yesterday. I think she's 50 today. Caroline, if you're watching, happy birthday. Uh, I think you're in Porto del Carmen. I think you were at the Old Triangle last night in Matagorda. So you can see none of the shops are open as yet. But like I said, what we're going to do, we're going to have a little wander around here. Little wander around the harbour. Uh, this statue one day, look. This, this is, uh, I don't know who this geezer is, look, but he's literally there watching the world go by. But one day, when Mr. Yeah, this is aimed to pay tribute to the generation of citizens who, with their efforts and hard work, have helped us achieve the level of well-being we now benefit from. The sculpture is dedicated to a generation of Canarians. Look, look at that. This man. I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder what he's thinking if he's like one of the old guys of generations where this was a tiny little fishing village <laughs> and now you've got the Fred Olsen coming in look you've got this massive harbour area and all this commercialised stuff I wonder what he's actually deep down thinking he's probably thinking geez we helped build this place and there now look at them building hotels and stuff one day they're gonna have a Mr Travelon statue right in the heart of Playa Blanca like the Rocky statue at the top of the steps <laughs> Me holding a camera. Are there many clubs heading over in June? Uh, Amelia, it depends where you're going. There aren't many clubs in, in, in Lanzarote. It's not really a massive party destination. In saying that, there are clubs that you can go to. Um, so there will always be one or two, but it's not like um, it's not like you're gonna get like proper club date your mind and find loads of different clubs and stuff. Because Lanzarote, it's a little bit chill. Uh, right, this is one of my favorite places. Hello, you all right? This is one of my favourite places here, look. Love it down here. This is like a little rock beach. Um, I often see a lot of locals come down here and just chill out. Um, but they've got the little little fishing boats here, look. And they just leave them there. I've often wondered, could you just, could you just grab one and just pull it into the water and go off? <laughs> I suppose you could if you wanted to. I've never known anybody do it. But that's the thing. When I was young and naughty, you know, hanging around the streets, drinking Thunderbirds and 2020, I'm sorry, but me and my mates would have been straight in them boats. <laughs> we'd have been lost at sea, for sure. For sure we'd have been in there. So it's a different... It, this, the island's so cool and chill, and the kids are so... They're, they're very good kids. They're very respectful. Yes, they get drunk and they muck about and stuff like that, and they get up to mischief. But they seem to have a respect for things, you know what I mean? They're not, they don't like vandalise stuff. We were, I was, I mean, I came from a rough area, so. <laughs> we used to get up to all sorts of naughtiness. Like I said, bottle of, bottle of Mad Dog 2020, kiwi and strawberry flavour. Down the park. <laughs> egg the neighbours. Egg, egg some windows for the evening. <laughs> uh, go and ask the chippy for any leftover scraps buy a couple of scallops and that was your night wasn't it but I tell you what if them boats were there and we were right by the sea well I'd be lost in Lost Lobos I wouldn't be here would I I wouldn't be here was you off the lodge was I off the lodge I don't know what that means eight bottles of diamond white that was my first ever time that I got drunk uh, was on diamond white and I threw up everywhere and since then I've never been able to drink cider I just cannot drink cider um, because of that experience. Diamond white, geez, what a drink. Would love a holiday, get it booked, CW1888. Get it booked. What's the temperature in May? About the same as it is now. You're talking sort of mid to late 20s. But it's definitely getting hotter. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I know we've had a bit of bad weather with clouds and stuff, but it's been great weather great weather flying in three months 
light and bitter. You walked by the Irish Harbour Bar. Have I walked by the Irish Harbour Bar? I haven't been past there yet, have I? Lovely place here today. Have a great time, Brooksy. If you need anything, you know where we are, www.travelon.world. Uh, use the code TTK, save money on all your excursions. Where are you at the moment? I'm in Playa Blanca Harbour. So I think what we're gonna do is walk, well, we'll walk there and then I'm gonna walk back on myself um, and then show you the new La Salle and maybe sort of into Marina Rubicon area. Maybe we'll walk the town way back. Could be interesting, couldn't it? We'll go through uh, Cayu Lamones. Mind you, that'll be closed. Beautiful seafood restaurant here, La Cofradia. I've done a video in here. We had so much fish, I felt like I could swim. <laughs> but this is where the locals come. Look, this will be busy today. And they usually have fresh lobster. They haven't got any in there. They've got some fresh mussels and that in there. But it's proper, proper traditional in here. Like it's, it's it, this is the closest you get to sort of fresh fish in Playa Blanca. This one here, uh, literally, because it's right next door to the fishmongers, and right next door to where all the fishing boats come in. So they're going to get the catch of the day, aren't they? How far is the harbour from Barcelo Playa Blanca? Well, I've just pretty much walked it, El. So how long have we been on for? We've been on for 42 minutes. Um, but bear in mind, I've walked slow. I've talked crap. Uh, so if you put a pace on there, you're rocking and rolling. So this is where you get the ferry. You saw the ferry went Linnaeus Romero one. You used to get tickets from here. Uh, the ticket offices have moved now into the big white building. Uh, I'll show you where that is. So when you come down, well, of course you'd have booked your tickets with uh, Travel On anyway. So you have your ticket ready, but you just go and get your boarding card from the big white building over here. Where do the free Olsen go? The Fred Olsen goes from over here, look, I'll show you. I'll take you for a walk along here and show you. So you get your ticket from uh, travelon.world, www.travelon.world, and then you come in to the ticket office, which is now this big white building which they built. And they basically built all of this for cruise liners, but then realized that the water isn't deep enough for cruises, so they proper messed up. Um, I just felt a little bit of rain. <laughs> I just felt a little bit of rain only a tiny bit, look, you can see there's a little black cloud above us here, look. Tiny little bit of rain just spat on me. Just walking in the road as well, look, right in the way of people. So, come up here, look, with your uh, ticket from Travel On, and you can exchange it for a boarding card for your ferry. There's the Fred Olsen there, look. So that's the big one, that does all the cars and stuff. Um, but like I said, if you want a ferry, go on the Linnaeus Romero one, the one on our website, because it's more suitable for tourists. You, you're only going to get tourists on there. It's really comfortable and it's really cool. Thank you, Passion. Head to the Anvil for some breakfast. Do you know what? I wish I could. I do like an Irish Anvil breakfast, if I'm honest with you. These guys are all getting their tickets, look. So look at the size of this place that they built for literally a 25 minute crossing over to uh, over to Fuerteventura now look it's massive but this was for the cruise terminals so imagine it would have been for cruises but not anymore what's the white ferry called I'm going to show you now look so you got the Armas ferry there so there's two big this is the thing we've got three ferries here for a 25 minute crossing over to Fuerteventura it is a bit overkill sometimes and this whole place is overkill but you've got the Armas there, that's the older boat, but I tell you what, it's a lot more fun on that boat. There's so many places to explore. I've done a full video on uh, YouTube of having a look around there. Um, that one's probably my favorite out of the car ferries. And then you've got Fred Olsen here. Fred Olsen's the more modern of the, of the boats. Uh, it's a little bit more comfortable and you can take your car hire over there, but just always ask the car hire company if you're allowed to, because if you go over there and break down and it's in your contract that you shouldn't have gone over there, you're gonna get charged. But you just pull the car up there and go in there. Fred Olsen used to be my favorite, but they really, really let us down uh, when Alfie was sick in Fuerteventura and wouldn't change Mrs. Travel on onto a completely empty ferry because she didn't book a flexi ticket. So I'm done with them, to be honest. So always, if you want to take a car, go Armas. And uh, if you don't want to take it, well, if you're not taking a car, 
which is better anyway. Book on our website, Travel on Duck World. All the sports, kids in that go over, look, to play here. Uh, sports, so these have obviously got a match, a match today, look. I'll be heading over. I don't know whether they're football. Buena, todo bien? ¿Qué? Football? Sí, ¿qué, qué nombre? ¿Qué nombre? Unión Deportiva de Lanzarote. Oh, UD Lanzarote? Yeah. Esto de, 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 de grande, ¿no? Sí, sí, tercera, wow. tercera división. Wow, fantastic. Good luck. <laughs> See you later. There you go, UD Lanzarote. They're the big ones. I think they're the main Lanzarote football team. We're heading to the Geese Market today. Fantastic, have a lovely time. That's the Lanzarote football team. Look, Nicola's getting, Nicola's getting on it. Look, she loves a bit of football, don't you, Nicola? <laughs> you know me, I know nothing about it. But somebody did ask me to do a video on the local football team. I think I should. And there they are, look, heading over to play. Uh, what's the biggest Mercadonna in PDC? The only Mercadonna in PDC is the biggest one. There's only one in the Soco shopping centre. <laughs> Bloody, it's just picked up now. The wind has just got, got really bad in this area here. Maybe it's because it's the harbour. Let's have a little look over at Popeyes and Irish Anvil, and then we might swing it back around and head, I might head town way. Yeah, I think we'll go through Calle Limones, through the town, and then down through and show you La Salle and all that, and see what's going on down there, because I think the Italian is due to open soon. Uh, Jimmy told me that the, because there's a new Italian and Indian, Jimmy told me it's opening very soon. There's Popeyes, look. So in this complex here, you've got Popeyes, best place for fish and chips. You've got the Irish Anvil, good for brekkie. Uh, you've got the Indian at the top. Um, I've done a video on there as well. Go and see Ruble. There's a fantastic Indian at the top. Um, and that's about it in this area that I know of um, or have experienced. Um, but lovely place, lovely place. Right, come on, let's head. Is there a regular bus to and from PB to Costa to Guise? Not a direct bus, you'd have to change at some point. Um, you'd have to change in Porta del Carmen, but you can get the bus, it's not that difficult. So let's head this way, look, and we'll come around the back. There's another restaurant just around here. Um, and then we'll head round. Let's have a look. Da -da -da. Let's have a look round here. Just make sure I don't get run over because I'm in the middle of the road here. Loads of joggers. Always, always somebody jogging in, Port in Player Blanca. If he's Mrs. Travel on, it's somebody. Everyone loves a jog. <laughs> Jogging's not for me either. I couldn't be jogging. I like walking. I only run if I'm being chased. <laughs> or if I'm chasing something. <laughs> Which, judging by my past, was usually women. <laughs> and I was running all the way then. <laughs> that's, what, that, that's why I don't run anymore. No need to. Got no, got no reason to. No one's trying to kill me. And uh, I ain't chasing any women anymore. Is there much to do in Matagorda? Loads, Zoe. Uh, talking of Matagorda, I did a live there last week. Um, and I am going back to do a live in the commercial centre, not a live, a video in the commercial centre at night time. And I might have something to eat at O'Shea's. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go, because O'Shea's is really popular in that area. Have something to eat there take everybody up and we'll have a little wander around there our taxis better than last year yet yeah, there's definitely more taxis but there is still quite a bit of a wait good place for taxis if i'm honest with you is just here just where that commercial center is there seems to be loads because they they wait for the ferries to come over so that's a good place for taxis definitely where are you i mean play blanca lanzarote today any updates on the new smoking laws coming in um i don't know I've not heard anything about smoking laws. I don't smoke, so I don't really follow that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will try and find out for you. Staying at Tui Flamingo Beach, any recommendations? Uh, Tui Flamingo, but yes, any recommenda recommendations on what? Things to do? Visit our website, www.travelon.world. Um, apart from that, I don't know what you want recommendations on. <laughs> it's a great hotel. Um, it's perfectly located. You've got a nice pool area. 
Um, I've done a full video on our, on my YouTube where two young lads showed me around their room. Um, so you can see their accommodation and everything. Um, so go onto YouTube and have a little look and you'll be able to see what you're expecting. Oh. See you in three weeks down at Barcelona Playa Blanca, fantastic. Lovely hotel, lovely hotel. Don't listen to all the nonsense and reviews. Um, yes, they're brand new. No, they've never done a summer. Yes, there's gonna be teething problems there. Yes, the hotel is immaculately clean and beautiful. Um, service may be a little bit slow, um, but it's what you expect, a brand, brand spanking new hotel. Literally, they've done nothing. On your website, there's more than one. On your website, is there more than just Spain? Not at the moment, Anna. Um, only Canary Islands at the moment, but we plan to open Cyprus this year and uh, a lot more destinations. I think what we're gonna do is focus on sort of island destinations rather than sort of mainland destinations, I think. I think that's the plan. We've got a lot happening, a lot happening. And uh, I've just been waiting for a few things to sort of come to pass with sort of legalities of what we need to do and stuff. And I'm hoping that tomorrow I have all the answers on that and then I can sort of start moving forward. But talking of smoking, look, I'm sick of seeing this. Cigarette butts everywhere. I only just noticed that today from having that little walk down by the crabs. I'm gonna to have to do a little player blanket clean up video, ain't I? <laughs> there you go, look. Here comes the heavy breathing. Danny knows me too well. He's been watching these lives too much. Oh, I need to get one of these, Danny, don't I? These horrible scooters. I can't stand these, by the way. I kicked one the other day. It was left, somebody had left it and it had fallen over. I nearly tripped over it. So I kicked the shit out of it. <laughs> Excuse my language. I kicked the crap out of it. <laughs> Threw it halfway across the street. I was like, effing scooters getting in my way. I nearly killed myself. <laughs> Uh, so I was just outside the gym and uh, some Spanish guy was walking behind me and he was like looking as if to say, who is this crazy, crazy steroid head? <laughs> I'm there, I'm there just about to go in the gym. <laughs> Bold head, <laughs> throwing, <laughs> throwing a scooter across the, across the road. Roid rage, I call that, or scooter rage. <laughs> Wish I'd seen it, you should have seen it, Rufy. You're too busy eyeing up bloody, uh, bloody lifeguards, you. I know your game. <sighs> Here we go, look. Oh, there's a bike hire company, look. So you can hire a bike there from Paradise Bikes. Look, he's just getting the bikes ready, fixing them up. Buona dia, Toby. Very good, very good. How much is a bike for one day? That's cheap. Perfect, thanks mate, see you later. So there you go, Paradise Bikes. 50, 12 euros for the day or 15 euros, there you go. Just stay out of my way when you're on them. <laughs> you know I've got a tendency, you, you know I've got a tendency to, uh, to attack vehicles. I've not quite developed into bikes yet, but there's always time, depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> I'm only joking cyclist, I do love you really. I do love you really when you're out in the sticks and away from me. There's the La Playa, look, beautiful little shop this. Does all your gadgets. There's loads of these around. You've got these and you've got Ali Hop. Um, and these are the ones with the pink flamingo and Ali Hop has got the cow. But great little place. Does all different, um, really good deals on things like, like six euros, five euros, four euros, one euros. You've even got Crocs, look. Hola, buena dia. Hola, buena bien. Dia. Oh, look at these, look. You've got the Croc things. I don't mind Crocs, as long as you don't wear socks with them. So you've got all the customised things, promote two for five pound, that's not bad, or five euros. Perfect, gracias, adios. Oh, no problem, no problem. I like, habla uh, inglés. I like this shop because the design is nice yes. and it makes the island look nice. Funny, I don't yeah. like the, the shops where there's White. No, where they just put all the, sh all the yeah. you know what I mean? It looks horrible, but yeah. this and Ali Hop, it looks nice and modern and... Yeah, we pay a lot of attention. Yeah, it's beautiful. We try to look different. You present it well, yeah. that's the problem. What's your name? What's your name? Anna. Anna, say hello to everybody. You are live on TikTok. Ah, hi. <laughs> Come and see Anna, look. Hi, 
and come and see the pink flamingo. There you go, lovely lady. Joanne loves Ali Hop. I bet you do. I bet you're always in there, Joanne. Shopping, like Mrs. Travelon, she was pop, just popping in to have a look. Like it's the same crap you saw last week, but you'll always end up buying something. Like my mother, she always goes in places like that and buys the most ridiculous things. Show the movie shop. Have I passed it? I think it's closed, Nicola, but I'm, I'm due to do a video in the movie shop, but it is a great shop. Um, there's like a movie memorabilia shop. It's got loads of, loads of stuff. It's closed at the moment, but I think, it, I think, I think that warrants a good, a good video. Maybe we should do like a, a nostalgia video. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Um, do you remember video? And I can go in and show all the different things because I've got loads of Karate Kid stuff in there as well. Um, I want to move out there. Well, there are ways to do it. I've done a full video on YouTube with Lydia, who's like a consultant out here for people that want to move abroad. Um, so she gives some tips and advice, but it's a little bit more difficult after Brexit. Hi, Dad was talking about you to my mum the other day. Do you remember uh, Greg Sanford? Yes. <laughs> I remember your mum, yeah, of course. I used to hang around with your brother, drinking Diamond White. And, and, and it, it, in fact, Greg Sanford, I told a little story earlier, first time I ever got drunk on Diamond Right, that was with your brother. And I threw up everywhere. And then I went to Butlins with him as well. Yeah, I used to get uh, very drunk with your brother. <laughs> very drunk, he's got a bald head like me as well. I don't really speak, I don't really speak to him because I'm not on Facebook. Um, but if he ever comes over, get him to uh, drop me a contact, we can reminisce about our uh, drunken times as young teens. Not my brother, my dad. <laughs> oh, it's your dad, isn't it? That's the one. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's not your brother. I'm thinking, yeah, all right, there you go. Your dad. Even better. I used to get messed up with your dad. Tell him if he, if he ever has a go at you. I say, oh, what about when you uh, what about when you were messed up on Diamond White and Thunderbirds down Fairfax Park? Say hello to him for me. <laughs> Fairfax Park. I remember that. I bet Neil remembers Fairfax Park as well. So these are the shops that uh, look really tacky, but they do sell some all right stuff. Hello, mate, good morning. Good morning. But they will hassle you when you're walking past. The minute you look, the minute you look, they're on you. They're on you. <laughs> and Neil remembers Fairfax, but, but yeah, so we got, I, I, I showed Ali Hop and the other one, look, these are the shops I think just look horrible. I'm sorry, guys. I know you always have a go at me and I call them tat shops, but, and I know you all, you all enjoy a good old rummage around, but to me, they look like a jumble sale. I know you can get bargains in there and stuff like that, but they just do not do the island any benefit whatsoever. Whereas the nice shops like this look so nice and modern and clean and everything's, I mean, it doesn't take a lot, does it, to turn that into what Ali Hop and the other ones have done. Exactly, it doesn't look great. It looks awful. That's why I call them tat shops. So I'm really against them. <laughs> a little rant for the day. They really annoy me. Them and scooters. Uh, where in the Midlands are you from? I was from Solihull. Rach, I was from, I'm from Longbridge originally, sort of West Heath Longbridge area. But I used to work at the uh, Nationwide Building Society in Solihull. That was one of my first proper jobs after McDonald's. McDonald's was the best job I've ever had in my life, by the way. What's this? Live show, live, oh, this is cool. We'll definitely be down here. 12, 30, so this is next weekend. I reckon I'm gonna be live from there uh, next weekend, 14th of April, Sunday, look. Uh, live, right, we're live next Sunday here. We're gonna go and see the live, the live, um, the livestock. So we've got all sorts of, uh, livestock gathering of light stuff from breeders of lanzarote and fortaventura a balloon twisting workshop things for the games traditional milking oh my god we're gonna go down there and milk a goat that's what we're doing next when next sunday next sunday live from there that's decided so pencil it in i'll be there at nine o'clock in uga to milk a goat <laughs> but that's in uga uga's not far from um, Uga's not far from Playa Blanca. It's like one of the next villages up. Just uh, is it before Yiza or after Yiza? Before Yiza. 
and Uga's like a residential area, but it's tiny. It's really cool. What are you doing? Oh, hello, you all right? Yeah. I'm fucking on live. What are you doing? London Marathon, isn't it? The London Marathon. Look at her. I think she's a bloody marathon runner. <laughs> See you later. Uh, that sounds fun. It does, doesn't it? So I'm not sure if the restaurants are going to be open this side, uh, but we'll have a little look down here because there's always some locals. This is sort of the local area. So this is the town street. So you've got the, the beach street down there that I showed you, that we walked down. Windy's picking up now and the clouds are coming over. Look, it'll only last a little bit, um, but this you can get yourself some bargains on this street. There's loads of different restaurants on, this side, on the other side of the road there, look, that will be a lot cheaper than down on the main front and you'll get some real good bargains coffee and stuff like that look well this is this these are going to be the cheap places like a euro a coffee and um, views are probably not as good and it's like a little salon it's like a little uh, arcade and that bonne dia to you so it's like a little arcade it's a proper like you know what i mean it's where the it's where the taxi drivers get their coffee and stuff so you know it's going to be good and you know it's going to be dirt cheap so it's definitely worth coming into this area there's also public toilets here as well I do actually need a wee, but I can hold it. Because <laughs> you lot will just have a go at me for not washing my hands like you did last time. Um, but you can come up here, look. There's a little sort of uh, fruit, fruit and veg shop here that does like natural smoothies and stuff. And you can get drinks and stuff out there. Heading to Coraleco next month, uh, doing a day trip to Playa Blanca on the ferry. Is it worth it? 100% Michael. You're, you're dropping the you're dropping to the harbour area let's have a little look in here look they do all like the natural stuff in here look all, all like your local wines and stuff like that and the f sort of uh, organic fruits and stuff lovely little place lovely little place a little bit more expensive than your normal uh, supermarket for your fruit and veg but probably uh, the real the real deal isn't it um, yeah, so it's worth it. I've, I've, I've just come right through a back street here, look. I'm right at the side of the uh, of the, the playground. So you'll drop into Playa Blanca Harbour and then you'll, um, you'll head... Well, you'll be in the town, so it's definitely worth a day. You can walk from the harbour into town here. You can walk all the way along the coast. You can walk all the way up to Marina Rubicon, uh, which is sort of where we're heading now. Uh, so it's definitely worth it. So we're going to head up here, look. I'm going to show you the church. And then we'll head back down and go and see La Salle and see what's going on there. Morning. So this square here, they have like um, they have like um, concerts and stuff. So when there's a concert on or like an event, they have it here. Or, and you've got cappuccinos there. You've got La Rustica over there, which is a pizza place. Um, used to be fantastic lately really letting themselves down if i'm honest with you um we've had some really bad pizzas from there and the prices are stupid at the moment so i'm not sure what's going on with them uh, but you've also got the irish bar there look which is nice and a new mexican on the end and this is the church look got sunday service some people there attending mass i'm not sure if it's in english but you do get a lot of uh, tourists will go and have a little a little look in there. There's always a queue out the door, look. There you go. A little bit of mass. And this place rammed, always. The owner, look, has got a Hummer. Minted. <laughs> Minted, look. He's got a Hummer. Look at that for a car. I love his car, look. Look at that. That car's amazing. I really want one of them. I might get the new Hummer when it comes out. I don't know how much that is, but that's... Uh, Oh well, you can see why he's rich, look. He's got one of the most popular cafes on the island. It's rammed always. Look, inside and out. Uh, do they have many New Year celebrations? Yeah, they always celebrate New Year quite heavily here. There's plenty. Ah, look, just what I've found. Right, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna do a full video on this. This is brand new. This is Metro 24, okay? So if you're in Playa Blanca and you want a 24 hour snacks or anything like that, well, you've got a full self-service in here, look. So now you can come and you can get all your snacks um, 24 hours a day. So it's just up in this area here. Um, all your sweets and stuff. Um, 
all your naughty things if you're uh, up to anything naughty. Jesus Christ, what is the world coming to where you have to go to a vending machine to get a goddamn satisfier? I mean, gentlemen, if you cannot satisfy the lady of that you've met on an evening without coming to a vending machine to buy a, <laughs> a libid woman, you then just give up in life. Just give up in life. You can even get a pen drive, batteries for the satisfier. Um, crisps, snacks. Always be safe, look. Always be safe. Bloody hell, I was gonna do a full video on this place, but that's annoyed me. Um, and you can come and do your washing as well, which is a good thing. So there you go. <laughs> I mean, you've got the full, you've got the full, I, I, I'm speechless, I'm speechless. You've got the full, you've got the full thing there. So meet a girl, need a bit of energy, you can go and get yourself a Red Bull, get yourself a bit of protection. If you're feeling like you've maybe had a little bit too much to drink, well, you can get yourself something to help, you know. It's called a satisfier. Just in case you need extra batteries, you can get them. And come the morning, you can go and wash your sheets, can't you? Jesus Christ, what is the world coming to? I'm absolutely fed up of this world. I really am. It's everywhere. Do you know, they sell them satisfiers in the goddamn um, hardware store, like B&Q, and in all the electrical stores, like, uh, like your Dixons and your Currys, they're on big display there. I mean, come on. What is going on in this world? They used to be, well, they used to be in proper shops, didn't they, with darkened windows, and the only reason you'd go into one of them was to buy poppers. <laughs> That's me and my youth again. <laughs> Do you remember poppers? <laughs> you used to have to go and buy them from the uh, from the naughty shop, didn't you? <laughs> Ruthie, Ruthie's having a breakdown. So am I. <laughs> Dixon's, I don't Tandy. Do you know what I mean? Even Tandy back in the day wouldn't sell satisfiers, would they? You go in there, Amiga, oh, can I have the new Amiga 500? And uh, I tell you what, give me, give me four of them vibrators as well, please. Jesus, the world's gone mad. The world has gone mad. I'm in Playa Blanca having a rant. That's where I am today. Welcome. How many degrees is it? It's getting hotter. <laughs> getting hotter because of my rants, I think. Are oh, you by the H10 Princess? Not too far. <laughs> oh, dear me. Mr. Ranton, I should call it. Will you be in PDC any time between Thursday next week? Well, I was planning on doing PDC next week for the live, but it looks like I'm going to go milk a goat. Um, so, yeah, all going well. I might have to... Uh, it depends, how, depends how well I get on with the goat. I might have to go to Metro 24 afterwards <laughs> yeah, and get some stuff for the goat. <laughs> uh, Tat up some satisfiers. That's been the rant today. This is where the spoon is, by the way. If you want to know where the spoon is, it's by this lamppost. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is, but it's around here. Just look for it. Look, look on the floor. It's around here somewhere. I don't know, it's somewhere around here. For sure. I'm not looking now because I'm holding the camera. But that's where the spoon is. Oh. Have you been to Cordial Marina? Yes, Bruce. Done a full video on my YouTube with two lovely people from my neck of the woods. I want to say Redditch. Or I could be Tamworth. It couldn't be. It could be none of them, but they were definitely Brummies, Villa Villa fans. I probably got that wrong as well. <laughs> I'm terrible with names. I can never remember the names because I do so many videos with people. Uh, you're near the spoon. I just passed the spoon. Flying out of my birthday, July fourth. Hi. Where does the Sunset Cruise sail from? Not sure if you need pickup. We're staying at where? That's a long message I have to press it. Cordial Marina. Yes, you need pickup, Nicola. Go from Porto del Carmen. So just book it with pickup and they'll pick you up probably from Cordial Marina. The pickup, I think, will be the Volcan Hotel. So uh, not far from you, just out the back, out the back door from the, from the hotel and just opposite. Uh, so yeah, you definitely need to book it with pickup. Relax here, land. And if you're stopping in Porto del Carmen as well, which is where it departs from, it still picks you up from Porto del Carmen. 
So even if you're stopping in Porto del Carmen or Costa de Guise, just book it with pickup, it's easier. Pickup's free, it's no, it's no extra for pickup. Um, and they'll take you down to the harbour. And if you want to stay down in that area afterwards, you can do, you don't have to take the bus back. Obviously, if you want to get back to Playa Blanca, you do. Uh, going to PDC tomorrow morning, can't wait. I'm in Rubicon Palace at the moment, having an amazing time. Looks getting a bit busier down here now, look. We passed here earlier, didn't we? How much time have I got left on this camera? I've got 23 minutes left on the main camera for YouTube. So if you're watching, well, obviously you are watching on TikTok, but if you, uh, if you want to catch up on this whole live, it's been recorded for YouTube. So I'll post it on YouTube today around 6.30. So look, Bikers Bar's just getting ready for the day now and the Irish Heart, Irish Heart Bar. More people down on the beach, look. Shaggy dogs, look. Morning. Shaggy dogs. Uh, heading to Club Tahiti. That's in Costa de Guise. Um, I haven't done a video on that, but I'm, I'll, I'll definitely yeah. try and get down there. Hair braiders, if you want your hairs braided. Morning. With a smile. <laughs> Hair braiding with a smile. Morning, Katie. <laughs> right, let's see who we got on. I'm in Princess Eiza right now. Well, I'm right outside. I'm right outside your door. Give us a wave. They always look so cross. The hair braiders, I tell you what. Pff, you ever heard them arguing? Jesus. Well, Mrs. Travelon used to have a shop in Porto del Carmen and they used to be like around that area. And, uh, well, I don't know whether, whether they were talking to each other or arguing with each other, you can never tell, but they didn't have shout. But yeah. I don't think I could deal with hair braiding. Rip your scalp to death, doesn't it? Jeez. You see these, <laughs> you see these poor, poor girls walking around <laughs> with their, with their eyebrows on the top of their on the top of their forehead, they just look like they're in pain. Mum and dad are like, "Yeah, yeah, you look great. Like, thanks very much. I can barely move me. I can barely move my lips. My scalp's on fire. <laughs> oh, it's a good job I got no hair. Scalp burns. <laughs> they're so rough. Look, Chloe knows. Chloe's been there as a kid, walking round. <laughs> hair, heads." Heads thudding with the pain of the uh, of the uh, of the dreads. Oh my god! He had slides and he had slides and sucks on. I can't be dealing with that. I can't do slides and sucks either. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Are you having a nice walk? I'm I'm all right. I'm live on TikTok. You're live on TikTok to to 700, 769 people. What are your names? Who are you? Tell us who you are. Catherine and you look like sisters. <laughs> look at you, fantastic. Where are you from? We're from Hortney Spring, which is between Durham and Sunderland. Sounds posh. No. Oh, no. Sounds it. Sounds it. it sounds it. Well, listen, here, here's a little sticker for you. You can put my face on your case now. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, here we go. Look. Blimey, mean, no, it's getting busy down here now. It's getting busy down here now. Look, the locals have come down. The locals are down for a day on the beach. Uh, shout out to Ben and Emma going on honeymoon in June. Ben and Emma have a lovely, a lovely honeymoon. Is that Playa Blanca? Yes. And it's just got proper busy in Playa Blanca. Let me just plug the other phone in, guys. One second, give me a sec. Someone's key. They've brought a load of beers down to the beach. Look, I've got a bag full of beers. So a lot of the locals will come down. Uh, is Lidl open in Playa Blanca? No, they haven't even laid the first brick yet. Oh, I will follow the process. I'll, I'll, I keep saying I'm going to uh, do a video down there and show you the process of the progress of the uh, Lidl, like I did with the hotel. But they've not even laid a brick. They've laid nothing. So we're dying for a little, dying. So, the cloudy's come, look. It's still there, but the sun is beaming through it. It's still proper warm. Everyone's in shorts and t-shirt, look. So you're rocking and rolling. 
Um, if you haven't already, make sure to follow this channel, by the way. I've got 753 of you on. Uh, if you're not a follower, just follow. Cost you absolutely nothing to press that follow button. So please go over, follow that. If I can get another 700 followers, um, well, I think I'm on 113,000 now, which is fantastic. And I've got to 17,000 on, on YouTube as well, which is a, a slow process, but is very good. Um, I've got loads of videos coming from Tenerife on the way as well. Remember, we do the Thursday night live in the studio on, on YouTube now as well. So um, that's another little bit of time I've allocated to all you guys um every thursday at 7 30 so we're live every morning every sunday nine o'clock somewhere in the world doing a, a little walk for about an hour and a half to two hours uh, next week we're going to be milking a goat <laughs> or doing something along them lines um at the animal fair that'll be a cool live and then um and then who knows after that and then thursday night on youtube in the studio where we have a good old uh, rant and talk about all sorts of stuff wonder what this agenda will be if you're enjoying the live thursday there you go thursday night live thursday night live on youtube i love it nicola i love it all oh, right we're gonna head to la salle i'm gonna show you what's going on down there um and then i'm gonna use the loo because i'm dying for a wee and i'm gonna head home we've got about 15 minutes 17 minutes have you been to Dubai? Any tips there? No, I haven't been to Dubai, Lauren. Do you know what? Dubai and Thailand are all over TikTok and YouTube, aren't they? Everyone seems to be going there. Um, no, do you know what? I don't think I could be bothered with it. It looks, too, I don't know. It looks too flashy for me. I couldn't be doing with it. I'd rather, there's a guy that I've been following on TikTok. Um, he's out with his wife, young lad. A uh, little bit of a geek, got a little moustache. I think his name's Jake or Jack. Um, and he's in proper India. Like He's going to these mad places. And he even hires a police escort. I don't think he's rich, but I think it's so cheap over there. But he needs a police escort. And he goes on some proper dodgy places. I think I'd rather do that than go to Dubai. If I was going to like proper go into like travel and like go around and stuff, I think I'd rather go like proper back streets. Um, and, you know... I mean, he's going to these hostels with his wife and uh, they, they, they like won't rent to, they're that like, because it's, it's that part of the religion, isn't it? They won't rent to uh, foreigners. Um, but then he has to explain that they're married and they're only young and then they say, okay, we'll, we'll rent to you because they won't obviously rent hotel rooms to anybody that's not married. And it's mad. Right, so just to let you know, this is the new Barcelo Playa Blanca here. That's the mega hotel that's been built. This is where the smell is. So. People are saying it's smell, 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 smell. It's that one second there. See them two pipes? I think it's coming out of there. Literally, it stinks here, just in this area. By the time you've walked to this lamppost here, that smell's gone. So those of you saying, oh, it stinks around there. It's a two second. Something to do with the sewerage and they are working on it. So don't worry. And this is La Salle, look. This is it. Uh, where is the most fun location you've been in Lanzarote? The most fun? I'd say top floor of the Biosphere Shopping Centre is probably one of the funnest places to go. Uh, you've got crazy golf up there, Jurassic Golf. You've got, um, you've got all sorts of stuff up there. And uh, Six Day Cinema, brilliant restaurant. Um, as, a, as a fun hub, that would be the place. So here's La Salle, look. And I did a full video of this hotel from start to finish. If you follow my YouTube channel, I literally, from the first brick that's been laid, um, all the way to the end and I was the first person ever allowed in to go and see a room and do a video which was uh, unbelievable for me unbelievable but this is La Salle most of it's open and Jimmy told me that the restaurants have actually got lights hello mate how are you you're all right oh, you. are you stopping here yes we are yeah. any good fantastic did you watch my videos of it all being built yes we have did you fantastic oh there you go who are you two uh, uh, Gavin and Kate. Gavin and Kate, where are you from? Uh, England, Somerset. Somerset, fantastic. So how is it up there? Superb. It's brand new. There are teething problems, aren't there? Yeah, but you, know, you, you expect it. Yeah, yes. you expect it. Yeah, fantastic. Superb, got view, oh. the How's the pool? Is it warm or cold? Um, well, there's one heated, one not. One heated and one not? Yeah. Even the little, even the big pool? Yeah. Wow. Right. And they've got slides and everything, haven't they? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, okay, oh, and what's the food like? All right? Very nice. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. What, brilliant well that's fantastic well look i'm gonna have a little walk around here i've got a little gift for you here for saying hello you got 
little travel stickers so you can have my face on your case now. All right. And you'll be on TikTok and YouTube a little bit later on. So say hello to everybody. Hello. See you later. <laughs> Draw, mate. Bye, bye. Bless them. Lovely people. There you go. Look, so they're stopping there. Yes, there's teething problems. Um, but yes, fantastic hotel. Right, so this is the new Hippodino Express. There's a Hippodino everywhere you go. These are more expensive than the big Hippodinos, but there's only one big one in town and all the way up there. So, I mean, don't come here for a big shot, but you can get all sorts of goodies here. Look, loads of tackies and that. Beautiful. Fresh bread. Fresh bread and bakery over there. Hola, buena dia. So you got there, and they do meal deals here, look, for $3.95. So it's not bad. It's not bad, to be honest. Good place. I do like a little bit of there, just diving in for a can of pop or a bottle of posh water, you know what I mean? And it is so shiny, isn't it, for a supermarket? <laughs> but Hippodino own this whole building. So this is a para pharmacy. Um, don't be confused with this as a pharmacy. They are not gonna sell you um, ibuprofen or paracetamol. If they do, it will be like a natural product and it will cost you a fortune. And um, well, it won't, it won't get rid of your headache, but they do like sun creams, aloe vera. It's more like natural, natural products and like vitamins and stuff, but it's not a, a pharmacy. So just be aware of that. This is another one of La Playa Lut. So we've just had a look at one of them at there. That's a nice, a nice place. And this is the uh, ice cream place or the gelato place that I did a video in. Buena dia. So to be in. Hello, my darling. How are you? Did you like the video? Did yeah. you see the? Did you see the video? Some people came. Of course they came. If Mr. Travelon says to come and try the gelato, everybody will come and try the gelato. And you are the best from Brazil, no? No. No, I got it wrong. Where are you from? Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Not Brazil. No. Portugal. Ah, oh, I can't remember. Tell me. The best country in South America. South. Oh, I forget. Which? I can't. The best one? I can't remember. Colombia. Colombia. That's the one. Come and see these lovely people. Look. Look at this. It's not ice cream. It's gelato. I got told off by this lady here, who looks like the girl off Spider Man. I said you look like the girl off Spider Man, don't you? There you go. That's the one. Doesn't she look like the girl off Spider Man? Look. Say hello to TikTok. Lovely to see you again. Enjoy. I'm oh, God, look at that. That looks beautiful. We're live today. See you later. Bye bye. There you go. Didn't she look like the girl off Spider Man? Um, I can't remember the name of her. He just said. So this is Roma Italia, look. Roma Italia. Um, and this is open, I think, Friday. Jimmy told me possibly Friday. So Jimmy owns the Roma Italia, which is this one. So this is going to be an Italian restaurant and the Namaste Indian. And he said, they've been waiting for the lights to be switched on. And look, they didn't have any electricity. It looks to me like the lights are on. So he's got all the tables and chairs that have gone out here now. That's gonna look amazing. And uh, that'll be open, I think, Friday, I reckon. Or he told me around that time. Um, and then it looks like this place is opening. Someone said to me, is there really a Chinese restaurant opening? Is it okay to use the cash on buses? I think you can only use cash on buses. So this is the in the Chinese restaurant, somebody asked me, and I said it's something Gangnam style. It's La Gangnan, La Gangnan. So that's gonna be a Chinese restaurant, traditional Chinese cuisine. Will I eat there? Hmm. If it's not a buffet, I tend not to. <laughs> I can only do Chinese buffet. Uh, you've got Selena there, sort of ladies clothes shop. Art to geese, look. God, look, people are shopping already. People are in there already, look, getting a little bit of art to geese. Got all sort of uh, arty stuff in there. That looks nice. Hello, morning, you're right. And uh, someone's left their dog outside, Ralph Lauren, look. <laughs> Keeping guard. And that's Ralph Lauren. I've done a full video in there as well. That was a great little place. Uh, the new Ralph Lauren shop if you want a bit of designer clubber, you can come in there. Um, and there's loads. I mean, it's nearly open, isn't it? 90% open. Bellissima, another lady shop. And it doesn't look like this is open yet. This is gonna be Santos Jewelers. Now there's loads of Santos Jewelers. I don't know how these guys stay in business. Who's buying? 
designer watches all the time <laughs> but they must sell they must sell because they've got a massive one in Porto del Carmen they've got one here one just a little bit further up and of course you can't go anywhere in the Canary Islands uh, any shopping area without there being a fun grube and this is where you get all your perfumes you can get designer bags in here you can get your Ray-Bans good morning you can get your Prada your Gucci your Dolce Cabana the best shop the best shop in the Canaries. We love the we love the fun grube. It does everything, everything. Uh, back in four weeks, buzzing, fantastic, Jen. And uh, there's a yellow elephant. So this way you've got Marina Rubicon just over there, and we've got five minutes left up on the camera. No worries, mate. We've got five minutes left on the camera, so I'm going to take you just up to here, give you some amazing views, and say goodbye, and then I'm going for a wee. <laughs> Where are you? I'm at La Salle, Playa Blanca, Lanzarote. We've not met too many people today, have we? I always say Playa Blanca is not like Porto del Carmen. The people, they do spot me, but they're always a little bit reserved to sort of say, oh, Mr. Travelon. Whereas I go to Porto del Carmen, you've got a different type of, of person in, in, in Porto del Carmen and Costa de Guise where they'll run up and go, Oi, Mr. Travelon! <laughs> but Playa Blanca, I'm not saying Playa Blanca is a posh place, but um, it's a different type of person. It's anywhere you go, there's different types of people, isn't there? And Playa Blanca has, seems to be a little bit more chill and reserved. I like Porto del Carmen. I like people coming up and screaming at me. So look, we're right in the wind now, up here. This is the, uh, the little windmills that they reserved and they preserve, sorry, not reserved, preserve look. And you get a beautiful view there of the hotel as well. It's more reserved, there you go. There you go, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Let me, let me flick you around. So there you go. I'll tell you what, it's windy and cold up here. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, big thanks to all the moderators on. I've got to come down here because the wind is terrible. Ah! Let me get down here. There's a big strong wind today, but you can't feel it when you're down here. So to all the moderators, thank you so much for um, answering all the questions and stuff like that. Uh, to anybody that's joined me um, today, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, live. Next week, it looks like we're at the animal, the animal farm. <laughs> Sounds a bit dodgy, that, doesn't it? But next week, we're, we're there. Uh, maybe we'll milk a goat. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of fun, isn't it, on a Sunday morning? having a wander around, seeing some beautiful sights and sounds and just uh, talking crap. A few rants this morning, not too many, not too many rants, but that's where I'm heading there, look, to that sign that says toilet, because I am dying. Uh, have a great day. Yes, I will wash my hands and uh, I'll see you all later. A farmer costume, I might wear a straw hat, who knows. I'll see you all later, love you all. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.